Hello, today I will show you how you can automatically create the Facebook share images or open graph images for your Webflow based website. So you don't have to care about creating those images one by one for every collection item again. To do this, you only need a Webflow site and our native Placid Webflow image automation. So let's dive right in. Let's start by creating a new project. We're going to call it Webflow. Select the type Webflow and hit create project. After that, we see three simple steps. We have to first create the template, which will define the design of our images. Then we have to create a connection between Placid and our Webflow site. And in the end, we need to create an action. This is the thing that is really creating the image for us. <clears throat> so let's start by creating a template. Since we are wanting open graph images or Facebook images, we are going with the open graph category. There we now see a lot of presets we have already defined for you. You can start off with a preset or you can create a new image from scratch. I will select a preset down here, this one, click customize. And as you can see, you are right up now in our editor. You can uh, easily change the fonts or the sizes, add new images, add another text layer and stuff like that. You can 100% uh, customize your desired image. But I think I will just go with the defaults here and close it again. So we have finished our first step. The next step is to connect our Webflow site. We are heading over to the project settings and click connect to Webflow. Now we are going to Webflow where we need to request for permission. We are going to select the Placid block one and authorize the application. Then we get directly redirected back into Placid and the connection is done. Now we come to the third and final step. This would be to create an action. The action is the place where we define which data to take from our Webflow site and how to fill it into the template. So we know how you want to create your image and can it create it accordingly for you. So let's hit add action. This is just a four step thing. Pretty easy. Let's start with step one. Give it a name. We call it open graph image. There you can also define the interval when to run this action maybe on a webhook, for example, when you publish your website, every time you do that, you can uh, hit our webhook and create the images, or you can make it daily or weekly. I will stay now at manual. Step two is select your Webflow collection. I want to create images for all items in my post collection, so for this ones. So I'm going to select post, after that, we are already at the template mapping part where we have our template selected. We have only one. And now we are going to fill all the layers of the template with the data from Webflow. For example, the big background image is called image. So what are we going to take here? Let's go into a post. I think we want to take the article thumbnail field since this is different on every post. Yes, we are going to take from the general tab the article thumbnail. So now Placid knows for every post we are going to take the article thumbnail and fill it into the template. The second one is called picture zero. Picture zero is just the styling part of the template. We can keep it default and do nothing. The headline is the title of the post. So let's see. We can either take the name or the title. I'm going for the title field here. So we go to general title. And now we have to fill the three things for the author. Author here is the name of the author. So let's see if we have it. Yes, we have here a reference field for uh, authors. So we should be able to see it here, yes. It's a reference, we have role and name, so we pick the name for the author. The author image, that's the, the little one here, is also available, it's called author and avatar, so that's an image field on the author reference. We're going to pick that. 
And every time you're going to switch the author of a post, this will automatically be filled in for your next image. The author byline is the, the second row under this name. And we are going to take the author role for that. So pretty easy. Now Placid knows which fields from Webflow we should take and fill into your template so we can create multiple images off of that. In our last step, we have to find the image, define the image output field. So where do we save the image? On our posts collection, we have an image field that's called open graph image. This is currently empty and we want the images to be filled in there. So if you're missing that, just create a new one, call it whatever you like, and we can save images there. So we select the image output field, which is called OG image. We hit create action. That's it. After that, you should already be able to hit test and see which images are going to be created. Now Placid is fetching all the posts, taking the data, filling your template one by one and creating all the images. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. Beautiful. Beautiful and made with a few clicks. Awesome. Here we go. All the images are already done. This was just a test run, so nothing happened. Now we hit run. And now, <clears throat> because it's not a test run anymore, it will create all the images and save them back into the open graph image fields. After this is done, you can see the image is successfully updated on the, on the field open graph image for the different, different items in our post collection. If we now switch back, you might have to refresh your Webflow editor to see the changes that appeared from an external service. So let's see. We should have now open graph images for every post that came from Placid. Yeah, here we go. Beautiful. So the last step would be to set them as open graph, image in, as open graph images for your post collection. That's pretty easy. You just go on the pages, select your CMS collection page for the posts. There under open graph settings, you can select the title. For that, we take the title of our post. We can have a, a description. That's the intro text. And as an open graph image, we select our OG image field. This is the one that's filled by Placid. Then we hit save. Now, after a publish, we should be able to see our awesome new images. Let's open the site. Let's go in there. Open it up. Yeah, beautiful. So that's it for this automation. You will find a link to our blog post with a step-by-step -step recap of this tutorial in the description. Try it out and tell us what you think.